And hit the brakes. Hey, what is going on, guys? Father Gamer here. Welcome back to some more Blade and Sorcery. As you may have noticed, the Divine Strength and Speed mod and Divine Spell Power have been updated to U12. And these mods together make you an absolute god in Blade and Sorcery. So, without further delay, what do you say we go? take a look okay so first of all we're going to be looking at the divine strength and speed mod which if any of you aren't aware i actually made myself but what does it do for you well obviously you are faster even just walking around here without sprinting you can see we are quite quick and we can easily maneuver around the npcs and <laughs> they're not going to touch us but when we start sprinting that's when the magic happens you can see that we are picking up quite a good pace here and we can pretty much run around the entire map in a very short time. And we can also jump extremely high to complement our speed, making our maneuverability just that much more impressive. <laughs> but what else does it have to offer? Well, with this mod, your punching power has been increased, as well as your kicking power. <laughs> now, I've tried to make a good balance with it so that you do feel like you have superhuman punches and kicks, but... NPCs just don't fly away ridiculously yeah. all the time like they used to before So hopefully it's a bit yeah. more nicely balanced now and people don't always die instantly when you grab them Which was an issue in some past versions, but if we go into slow motion You can still knock NPCs flying. I really yeah. think that I found the sweet spot with this mod this time yeah. How dare you? <laughs> they strike me like that wasn't prepared. Now it may take you a little bit of time to get used to your new speed and strength, but like most great powers, once you've learned to harness it, you will become an unstoppable force. And also heavy objects should be a little bit easier to lift, but I still have a little bit of an issue with a bendy wrist. But what do you say we go take a look at the next part of it? So as well as making you stronger and faster, divine strength and speed also increases your weapon handling, making weapons almost feel weightless. But I've really tried my best this time not to make it feel like janky and like out of control. And there doesn't seem to be as many weird things happening as what used to in the past. It feels okay this time. In fact, it feels more than okay. It feels pretty good. But that's enough of the little sword. Let's test out the big heavy weapons. Now this is one thing I like about it, is being able to wield these big heavy weapons in one hand. Now. This time around I've made it so that you still have to put a little bit of effort into them just to try and reduce some of the shakiness and make it feel just a little bit more realistic as well. Oh my god, that was an amazing kick. This is why I love this mod. But uh, yeah, you can see that we can wheel these around no problem and destroy these NPCs. You're also going to find that you can do cool things with the claymore, like you could stick three NPCs on the end of it and hold it in the air because you can support that weight now. It's, it's really a lot you can do with the mod. Even in slow motion here, look at how we can wield these around. I remember before, if you were trying to hold one of these in one hand in slow motion, you couldn't even move it barely. But look at this. <laughs> Just annihilating them. Oh, let's give a little bop to the chest. But what happens if we actually grab it with two hands? Well then, it's just going to be unstoppable. <laughs> Now that we have the full control, <laughs> these NPCs are going to have a bad day. I also want to point out that with this mod installed, your health, mana and focus are not going to be unlimited, but they are massively boosted. Like You're going to have a large health pool, a large mana pool and large focus pool. And that's just to support your new divine powers, as well as the fact that, you know, jumping extremely high and running around so fast can sometimes be a little bit chaotic. So you're going to need that little bit of extra health, you know. And the extra mana pool is going to be extremely useful for the divine spell power mod, which we're going to be looking at next. So make sure you don't go anywhere, guys, because it is a good one. Okay, so next we're looking at the Divine Spell Power mod, another one that I made. This will make it so that you can charge your spells instantly, and they do a lot more damage. I've also tried to make them look a little bit bigger and more impressive as well. So this is the Fireball, and let's test out the Fire Merge. Again, instantly charged, and does a much larger radius of damage, and it also costs no mana. Moving on to the Lightning Spell, again, it looks a little bit more impressive, and when not blocked by a weapon, 
will kill NPCs on contact instantly. Zoom, see, dead and dead. <laughs> a more powerful version of the lightning spell. The merged version, again, instantly charged when we can get it. There we go. There was no need to make this any more powerful because obviously it already destroyed NPCs in its path. But I made it so that you could charge it instantly and it doesn't cost any mana. Moving on to gravity, same thing. It charges instantly. It is a lot stronger than what your normal one is when you can actually get them off their feet. <laughs> and it doesn't cost any mana to use. Oh, she is being stubborn, isn't she? Go oh, on, there we go. You see all that area effect there behind it? This is a very powerful spell now. <laughs> <laughs> Probably your most powerful spell in your arsenal. Well, I've also improved the merge version. Let's just get her out of the way. Excuse me. We're trying to do some demonstrations here. Right, let's merge it together. Let's go over here, go to some debris, and merge our gravity bubble. Look at that. <laughs> Items are already lifting. So I've made it so that... Uh, the area of effect is a lot larger and stronger, so heavier items will get lifted, and as you can see, they go a lot further in the air than what they did before. I've also made it so that this lasts a little bit longer than what the default version does as well, giving you a little bit more time to do whatever you want, like play around. For example, look at our new telekinesis power, which I've now added to divine spell power, making your telekinesis abilities superior to the default version. <laughs> this should be about finished now. Yep, and everything will come down. Excellent. Excellent. Try it out for yourself. Okay, guys, that's all I've got time for in today's video, but if you like any of the mods you've seen, you can find links from down in the video description below. And of course, if you've enjoyed my video, you can let me know by smashing that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe for more. I'm Father Gamer, bye for now.